Hi, I'm Shannon Jones and I am a Gold Coast based contortionist and foot archery performer. So I grew up doing gymnastics at the Elite Rhythmic Gymnastics Club in Burley Heads and I did that for nine years. So I really loved gymnastics and I thought it was like my biggest passion ever, but I realized that I enjoyed the performing side rather than the competitive nature of the sport. So then I kind of transferred to Aerial Angels Academy in Burley and they really kind of kick-started my career and got me performing at events on the Gold Coast, which was unbelievable for me to be considered like a pre-professional performer. That was really um, like powerful and life-changing to me because I didn't realize that like that was possible or that people could like thrive and have these like amazing careers and completely support themselves through their art and their craft. So I kind of fell into that path. How do you describe what it is that you do? I'd say that I'm a professional contortionist and foot archery performer. So I love doing like a range of events. I do corporate events, festivals and sideshows. So my act kind of changes depending on the event, but it's all movement based and performance art with a bit of circus and sideshow. You get a wide range of reactions from my act. Some people are horrified, but some people are amazed by it and really enjoy that interaction between the artist and the audience. Wood archery, how did you find yourself there? I guess I just, you can learn anything from the internet nowadays. <laughs> so I watched someone do it and at the time I was training at Aerial Angels and with a very good coach, Ben, and he told me which bow to buy and we slowly trained up the act together. And yeah, it was a bit of a trial and error thing to begin with. I learnt with my feet before I learnt with my hands. So. <laughs> My training is super important to me. There's definitely a level of discipline that I need to maintain. So I spend three to four hours every day doing pretty intense physical training. So lots of handstands, lots of back bends and contortion training. And then I also practice the arrows quite frequently because it's not something that you would like to mess up. So. <laughs> And how does your international work then, like how do you make the leap from being Gold Coast yeah. based to then, you know, performing internationally? So before I started busking, I solely performed on stage, my seven minute act, and I didn't know how to speak in front of an audience. I didn't know how to express myself vocally. And when I started busking in Byron, I started by like waving at people with my feet in handstands and, uh, I used to like solve a Rubik's cube with my feet over my head and just like really novelty stuff like that. But it really like broke that fourth wall and allowed me to connect with the audience and like express myself in an entirely different way that I hadn't previously done. And from there I met Shane Holgreen, Space Cowboy. Mm -hmm. And Shane created like a street show for me, which was a 40 minute, um, kind of longer version of my act. And then from there, I got to pitch it to different festivals. And at the time I was surrounded by people that did work seasonally and did go to Europe when the summer season in Australia was over and kind of got put into the right contracts and got to do the leap and go to Glastonbury and work in London. And I did a cabaret there and the Fringe Festival over there and it just kind of took off. Growing up, I wasn't really aware of like the opportunities that we had here on the Gold Coast, like especially for artists. And now that I've grown up a little bit more, I know that there are a lot of events on and there's lots of room for art and exploration and there's amazing venues here that offer as like a platform for artists, which I just wasn't really aware of because you don't really consider the Gold Coast to be like a big art scene like Sydney or like Melbourne. But there's definitely that room for opportunity here and events like Bleach and the French Festival and so long as you're like willing to learn and if you're passionate about something and you like put that energy out, you will be able to find these people and connect with people on this level and yeah, just work together.